This is an animation showing transcatheter aortic valve replacement through the transfemoral approach using the Edward Sapien III transcatheter heart valve. The heart's main function is to pump blood to the rest of your body. The heart contains four valves. Normal valves have two or three flaps of tissue called leaflets that open and close like gates to control the flow of blood through your heart. It's important to know that if you have aortic stenosis, your aortic valve narrows due to calcium buildup. This prevents the valve from fully opening, which blocks blood flow from your heart to the rest of the body. As a result of the reduced blood flow, the body does not get the oxygen it needs, which can lead to symptoms. Aortic stenosis is a progressive disease, which means it gets worse over time. It's typically measured as mild, moderate, or severe. The only effective treatment for severe aortic stenosis is to have your aortic valve replaced. Today, there are two options for replacement, open-heart surgery or less-invasive transcatheter aortic valve replacement, also known as TAVR. During the TAVR procedure, you may be placed under anesthesia. Once under anesthesia, a small incision will be made in your leg, where your doctor will insert a short hollow tube called a sheath into your femoral artery. Sometimes as a first step during the TAVR procedure, balloon aortic valvuloplasty, also known as BAV, is performed in order to open your narrowed calcified valve. Once the sheath is in place, your doctor will guide a catheter with the balloon on the end of it up to your aortic valve. Once the balloon catheter reaches your aortic valve, the balloon is inflated to open your narrowed calcified valve. The balloon catheter is then deflated and pulled back from the aortic valve. During the next step, your new transcatheter heart valve is crimped onto a delivery catheter, which makes the valve small enough to fit through a sheath, so it can be delivered to your heart. Using a special type of x-ray, your doctor will guide the delivery catheter carrying the new valve through the sheath and up to your aortic valve. The balloon of the delivery catheter is inflated with fluid, expanding the new valve within your diseased valve, pushing the old leaflets aside. The balloon is then deflated, and the delivery catheter is removed, leaving your new heart valve in place. The frame of the Edward Sapien III transcatheter heart valve is strong and will use the calcified leaflets of your diseased valve to secure it in place. Once in place, the Sapien III valve begins functioning immediately, with the leaflets opening and closing to pump blood to the rest of your body. The most serious risks of the TAVR procedure are death, major stroke, major vascular complications, and life-threatening bleeding. If you or someone you know has severe aortic stenosis, only a TAVR heart team can determine which treatment option is best for you. Ask your doctor to refer you for a TAVR evaluation. To find a specialized heart team at a TAVR center near you, visit newheartvalve.com.